the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So for today's video, I'm going to help this new bridge second C using the new smoke fruit. We're gonna start by eating it. I'm gonna show you the first skill. We have the white out. But we're gonna use that later because we're gonna do this quest, the snake man quest. There you go. So in this quest, we need to find three chickens that are located here on this terrace. There you go. Next one on the gacha where you roll some fruits. There you go, that's the second one. And the last one is located in the black market. There you go. After you get three of those, you will reach level five really, really fast. Now I'll give you a choice. You can do server hop and keep doing that or start doing the soldier quest. You need to defeat six. The requirement here is level one. For every quest, you will level up once, but not as fast as the chicken quest. So it really depends on you. There you go. White out is really cool. So our goal here is to reach level 10 again. After that, you can do the clown pirate quest. Here you need to defeat 7. There you go. So I'm gonna show you how to lure. Then just lure 4. There you go. Use your whiteout. You can lure 3 after that because you only need 7, right? And that's a level up. So the goal here is to reach level 20. And after that, you can again move on to your next target mob, which is a smoky. Guys, I want you to focus some of your stats on the defense because again, as you've seen, the whiteout is a short range skill. So you will really get hit. And if you don't allot some stats to your defense, you will surely die. Like this one. <laughs> okay, okay, see that? So again, put some stats on your defense. Just 10 stats and that's enough, okay? The goal here is search level 30, but guys, if you want, you can stay here until you get the new sword. Yes, there's a new sword in this update. And that sword is a Jite. So I was able to get it. But again, I won't be putting stats on the sword. <laughs> because we're just gonna focus on the new smoke food. So at level 30, you can start defeating Tashi, but check this out. We've already unlocked our second skill, White Snake. This is the long range skill of this fruit. There you go. So one of those plus Z skill. And then one more X skill. Again, the white snake. Here's the GTA. Just showing you. Okay, so the goal here is to reach level 50. But for me, I reached 53 to unlock the white floor. So that we are more prepared on this next island, the pirate island. Okay. So we're gonna start here with the clown pirates. You need to defeat five again at level 50. That's the requirement. So they're easy to defeat, to be honest. So first I tried to use the white floor, but I wasn't able to burst three. So just lure them and use your Z skill, the white out. Defeat five to finish a quest. If you can avoid the sixth one, then go for it, okay? The goal here is to reach level 75, and after that, we are now ready to move on to our next target, the clown. He's located here. There you go, the clown. So here, guys, you can just uh, burst him using your Z, X, and C skill. There you go. It's really easy. The goal here is to reach level 100. Okay, off to our next island. Oh, by the way, we've already unlocked a V skill, the White Hydra. So it really depends if you want to use a boat or just use the V skill. But guys, it is limited. It is fast, but again. You need to like gauge how long you'll go. So we're gonna start here with the commanders. Guys, check this out. I'm gonna use the V skill. It has damage. You need to defeat six. You can defeat four by just passing by them using your V skill. But guys, it was nerfed yesterday. Yeah, while I'm playing, they nerfed it. So you're gonna notice it that it is weaker when we reach the snow village. Okay. Okay, there you go. The goal here is to reach level 125. Next up is the commander, so for every single target enemies, we're gonna use our combo, the X, C, and Z skill. There you go, okay. So here, the goal is to reach level 145, go. And after that, we are moving on to our next target, the axe hand is located here. Target level here is level 200, we're gonna skip one of the quests in our next island. But let's focus here after that to make things faster. 
So, instead of just waiting for it to respawn, go back to the commander, defeat the commander, and there is a high chance that the axe hand has already spawned. But guys, if you can, make sure to make it faster to be more efficient. Okay, there you go. Again, our goal level here is to reach level 200. Alright. So far, so good guys. We are able to unlock this fruit. If you're having thoughts in eating it, here is the guide for you. So approaching our next island, the shark island. Here we're gonna skip again one quest. We're gonna start with the karate fishman at level 200. Remember our technique with the commander, we're gonna do that. And that's an automatic level up. Our goal here is to reach level 230. There you go, after that moving on to the next NPC here, we're gonna start with the shark man. Guys, this area is really really fast in leveling up, so make sure to take advantage of it. Our goal here is to reach level 350. Okay, 350, yes, I'm not joking. I'm gonna show it to you guys. After you defeat it, go straight to the quest giver and it will spawn fast. See that? See, it's already there. This is times to speed, by the way. Just showing it to you, and every time you defeat him, it's a level up. So, again, okay, 350, you can now move on to our next island or a ship. The chef ship. So, here we're gonna start. With the weapon man, there you go. Again, our skill X, C, and Z. There you go. Go to the other side, start defeating the black leg. The requirement here is 300, but it's fine, guys. Why 350? So I can defeat two mobs simultaneously in this ship, right? Okay, so after defeating him, you can use your Soru or your V skill. There you go. The goal here is to reach level 450. That's a lot of leveling up, 100 levels. And after that, moving on to our next island, we got the Snow Island. And in this island, this is where the V skill has been nerfed. So at 450, we're gonna start with the King Snow. Go. So use your, your combo, the X, Z, and C skill. And after that, we are moving on. So our next target, the Snow Soldiers, you need to defeat five. Check this out, guys. I'm gonna use the White Hydra. See that? Instant kill, right? Okay, easy. The goal here is to reach level 500. Keep doing that. The King Snow quest and the Snow Soldier quest. As you can see, we're still one hitting them. So at level 500, you can start defeating the Heavy Man. Use your X, Z, and C skill to defeat him. And after that, you can go to the Snow Soldiers or the King Snow. So, King of Snow or King Snow. <laughs> okay, so the goal here is to reach level 625. After that, we will go to the Sky Island, not to level up, but to buy the Observation Hockey. So with that, you can dodge 8 hits. It's located here, you're gonna pay, I think, 1.5 million, yeah. Okay, 1,500,000, there you go, 8 dodges. So, moving on, so our next island to the grind, we got the Desert Island. So here, we're gonna start with 2 mobs. First up is the Bomb quest the bomb band quest so again strategy x z and c skill so next stop to travel faster you can use your white hydra go on to the other quest giver quest 525 go candle man defeat him and go back to the bomb man the goal here is reach level 725 and after that you are now ready to fight the boss the mini boss in this island <laughs> The King of Sand. So guys, if you want to make things easier, just use X skill twice or thrice to defeat him. Or after two skills, you can use your Z to defeat him. Wipe out. Okay, easy, right? Easy. So at level 800, you can now go back to the Skylands and defeat Sky Soldiers. So you only need to defeat four. Guys, check this out. See that? Now, the White Hydra was nerfed. The damage was nerfed, so we're just we're gonna use two skills now. If they haven't nerfed the white hydra, leveling up will be really really fast. There you go. The goal here is to reach level 850. After that, next up, the ball man. Guys, here, leveling up is f really really fast. Remember the shark man or the shark? Yeah, the shark man in the shark island. Grinding with him is really really easy. 
Make sure to defeat him fast, go back to the quest giver, and he will spawn really, really fast. So here guys, we're gonna level up until you reach level 1100. Yes, at 900, we're gonna open this quest, the Rumble Man. You can defeat him by using three extra skills. Or just two and go straight to him and burst him. Yes, it's possible without even getting damage. So go back to the Ball Man. Again, the goal in this area is to reach level 1100. And after that, we are moving on to our next target island. And that island is the Bubble Island. So here, we're gonna start with the soldier. Ah, uh, no, 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 not the soldier. The leader, yes, the leader. Sorry about that. We're gonna skip the soldier quest. So there you go, leader. X skill, dodge, Z, and C. And that's enough. Just 50 level ups with this one. Yes, 50. And we are moving to our next target mob, the Pasista. So again, Pasista is one of the fastest areas to level up. Oh, let's buy the Busuhaki. Moving on. There you go. Back to the Pasta. Pasista. Oh, sorry. Pasta, not Pasista. Pasta. So there you go. Use your X skill, Z and C. Guys, you will really get hit here. But it's fine. You have Observation Hockey. Just reset. If ever you've used all of your dodges, again, it will go back to 8 once you do that. So again, leveling up here is really, really fast. Once you defeat them, go back to the quest giver. And most likely, Pasta has already spawned. Check this out. There you go, guys. Okay, so the goal here is to reach level 1325. And after that, we can now move on to our next island. But let's defeat the, this first and do some stat check. So I know, because I know everyone will be asking for that. Okay, stat check, guys. 875 defense, max power foot. Okay, this uh, stat is for grinding, not for PvP. There you go. So, on the next island, we're gonna start with the wolf. This is the lobby island, by the way. So, defeat the wolf, right? Next up, go to the giraffe. The requirement is 1325, that's why we went here again to defeat two mobs simultaneously. There you go. So again, defeat the wolf, defeat the giraffe, wolf, giraffe, until you reach level 1400. And after that, we will now move on to our final target mob. And that mob is Leo, okay? Again, at 1400, is located here. So guys, we will reach 1500 here. And that's it. So how's the grinding, guys? Was it easy? Yes, it's easy compared to Blocks Fruits, I'm telling you guys. Piece of cake. <laughs> okay. So once you reach level 1500, can we now go directly to the second scene? No, you need to finish a quest. And that quest requires you to go to the War Island here. When you reach here, you're gonna talk to the trainer. You go accept. You go. He will ask you to look for a map. And that map is located here in the fish land. How do you get it? Defeat anyone here, any mob in this island. But we prefer this one, the seasoned fishman. Guys, again, you can defeat anyone here in this island. There's a chance you will get the map. There you go, this is the map. So after that, you can go back to the war island, give it to the trainer. There you go, good luck. Now we can go to the starting island. And there you will find the elite pirate. Talk to him, and he will now send you to the second scene. Okay, guys, so that's it. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Next up, I'm gonna make the mammoth fruit. Yes, noob level one reaches second C. So, guys, again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, really appreciate you all. By the way, I already got the uh Christmas sword, I'm gonna make a short video of that and maybe the other accessories, okay? So again, I'm gonna repeat it to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom and GamerNom out!